Usually when you use a drum replacer plugin, you've got all the drums recorded on separate tracks. A kick drum track, snare track, tom track, and so on. And each track would trigger its own sample. But what do you do when you've got a drum track that's either already mixed or one that was originally recorded on just one track? The trick is to filter different sends from this single track in such a way that only the predominant frequency of each drum is sent to the appropriate plugin. So one filtered send will only trigger a snare, another filtered send will trigger the kick, and so on. Here's an example. A single track with drums recorded live and no way to mix the individual levels of the drums. Let's just look at how we'll handle the snare drum. We'll create a new group track in Nuendo and insert an instance of Drumagog into that group track. Now we'll send some pre-fader signal from the drum mix track to that Drumagog snare group track. But before that signal hits Drumagog, we need to filter it so that only the snare sound triggers the sample. So we'll use an EQ to filter out everything except the predominant frequency of that snare drum, its characteristic ping. We can latch onto that ping and use it to trigger our sample. We'll follow that EQ with something to further sharpen the attack of that ping. In this case, I'm using Universal Audio's Transient Designer to put a sharper point on that ping. I then put a compressor in the chain to keep the dynamics within a certain range so we can get a more or less consistent level for our trigger. Finally, our filtered signal hits Drumagog and we've got a snare sample triggered with a snare from the original mix. And you can repeat this process with any other sounds in that mix, provided they all have a predominant frequency that's different from the other drums on the mix. Thank mm -hmm. you.